Hi guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make 2 and a walkthrough of the Sims Free Play Feature Walls Quest. Many thanks as always to EA and FireMonkeys for letting us share a special early access preview with you all. As usual, this is not our game we're showing. It's a temporary and limited version of the game which we don't get to keep for ourselves. The Feature Walls Quest is a discovery quest which is being added to the game with the Chic Boutique update. That update should be available in your app stores soon, but this quest will only be available to start on August 1st, 2018. Now that's based on Eastern Australia time, so the date might actually be more like July 31st for those of us who are on the other side of the world. Because this is a discovery quest, you don't have to start it on August 1st. You can wait to start it until you're ready and save up your simoleons or LPs or whatever you need. By the way, other things to expect from this update include a new live event focused on fashion and shopping items which you can use to build clothing stores, as well as repeats of many previous limited time events. We've got walkthroughs for all of that which we'll link to in the video description below. And also, by the way, you can see here a couple of new features which will automatically come with this update. We now have the ability to put windows on interior walls. And we can also put the walls up and down by tapping on this button at the right side of the screen. We'll get these two new features for free with no need to complete a quest or event. Okay, let's get to the feature walls quest. Once you complete this quest, you'll unlock the ability to have walls of different colors in a single room. I don't know if you can imagine how happy we are about that, but we are pretty darn happy. Mm -hmm. This quest is designed to last seven days, and if you complete all of it within the seven days, you'll also unlock 10 new wallpapers and 15 new floors. And yep, I don't know if you can imagine how <laughs> happy we are about that, but we are pretty darn happy. If you don't finish all the quest tasks within the seven days, you won't get the new walls and floors, but you will still unlock the ability to do different colored walls in a single room. So the first task is talk to Summerfields. Plush Living's editor Summerfields is waiting for your sim in the park. She is waiting to fill them in on the details of the interior design competition that Plush Living is running. Have your sim talk to Summer. So, so we're just going to bring over a sim and we have a brand new NPC sim over here, Summer. Good looking. Talk for 30 minutes. Love oh. the hair, love the outfit, love yeah. the everything. Leopard, cheetah, something like that. <laughs> Send the sim home. Summer explains that Plush Living has identified the most talented up-and-coming interior designers in Simtown. The winner with the most new and unique design will be featured in the next edition. In their excitement, your sim instantly accepts. Were they too quick to agree? Let's go home and think it through. So we'll just go to a sim's house. Panic about competition. Your sim arrives home and is overcome with fear. They have just promised plush living they would come up with something new and unique. What to do? Panicking seems the best course of action. Have your sim panic outside near the letterbox. And here we are, panic about competition for one hour and 15 minutes. This, by the way, is a little preview of the Chic Boutique live event that we mentioned earlier. Lots and lots of good stuff coming there. Here's our sim panicking. Read Inferior Designs magazine. Within the maelstrom of panic, your sim has a moment of clarity. Research will help. Have your sim read from a magazine stack. And of course, you get magazines from the living room section of the home store. Right here, it's the very first thing. Just take that and place it on a table and we'll have a sim read it. Inferior designs for two hours and 15 minutes. Browse new trends. Your sim reads inferior designs. Balconies are the new black. Futons are the future. Wait, this magazine is 15 years old. Maybe looking for trends online is better. Have your sim use a computer to browse new trends. So we'll just use this computer here to browse new trends for two hours and 40 minutes. As usual, furniture items with higher stars in the home store will be faster for the task than furniture items with fewer stars. They might be more expensive, but they're definitely worth it if you are on a time budget with this. Add new flooring. Wow, there are so many cool ideas on the internet. Maybe it's time to put some of this research into action. Your sim should start by putting some new flooring in the house. Place new flooring in any room. Let's just pick something cheap, maybe that rustic plank. Get another sim's opinion. That floor looks very now. 
But is it enough? Does it even speak to the modern oeuvre? <laughs> Call a sim over to assess the new flooring. Speak to a sim to get their opinion on the new flooring. Get opinion on floors for four hours and five minutes. I really love this wall thing that we got going on. Yeah, I'm pretty darn excited about it. <laughs> Contemplate design. Your sim declares they are flawed at such a flawed design choice. <laughs> there is nothing original about it at all. With so many ideas out there, how can your sim come up with anything new? Can your sim really do this? What does in interior design even mean? On a couch, have your sim contemplate interior design. Contemplate design for 3 hours and 40 minutes on this 3-star couch. Call Summer Feels. Your sim contemplates what interior design is, but they are still drawing a complete blank. Perhaps they should call Summer at Plush Living to get clarification on the requirements. Have your sim call Summer on a phone. Call Summer for 48 seconds. Wait for Summer to be free. Summer is not answering. Perhaps she's busy at the moment. Have your sim call back in 23 hours and 53 minutes. Now you're going to see this a lot throughout this quest. What it means is we've obviously been skipping through the task so we can put this on video for you. But a lot of these tasks take four hours, three hours. You'll get to this one, this particular task, 24 hours after you started the quest. So for us, we have to wait another 23 hours before we'll be 24 hours into the quest. If you've been doing these tasks for 22 hours, you'll only have to wait two hours before you can start the next task. Now, if you don't finish all of the day's tasks within the 24 hours, that's okay. They should roll over to the next day, so you'll be able to work on them the next day. The thing that you just need to remember is you want to finish all of the tasks total within the seven days in order to get the limited time prize. So if you miss a task or two on one day, then just try your best to make up the time on the other days and finish the whole thing in seven days to get that limited time, 10 new wallpapers and 15 new floors. If you're free in the morning, then start this discovery quest in the morning because every 24 hours you're going to have the first task of the day to get started on. Or start in the evening yeah. when you get home from work or school. Whenever works for you. Yeah. But don't pick up the time like 3 in the morning because every day there's going to be a task that you could have started at 3 in the morning. Yeah. If you want to use LPs, you can tap the fast forward button and you can skip to the next day of these tasks by using 10 LPs. So we're going to do that now because this isn't our game. <laughs> these aren't our LPs. All right, and we are on the next day. Ask for advice from Summer. Your sim calls Summer and the phone rings out. Summer eventually replies with a text message saying that your sim should meet them in the park. Send your sim to the park to speak to Summer. So we can just go back to our sim that is already at the park. Ask for advice for one hour and 15 minutes. Eavesdrop on Summer. Your sim talks with Summer. However, they prove to be of little help. All she keeps saying is new and unique and occasionally trending. <laughs> what now? Hang on. Seems like Summer is about to make a phone call to discuss designs. Time for some good old fashioned spying. Have your sim hide and eavesdrop on Summer for two hours and 15 minutes. I doesn't seem like that's the best hiding place. Yeah. You're, like, so visible. Not but... that subtle. <laughs> Apologize to Summer. Your sim hides behind a bench and listens to Summer's conversation. They hear talk of a meditation space. Wow, meditation space. Perhaps your sim can come up with a unique feature room of their own. Uh-oh, Summer has spotted your sim's less than sports person-like behavior and wants to have a word. Of course, have your sim apologize to Summer for eavesdropping. So shady. Apologize for one hour and 35 minutes. Mm-hmm. She crosses her arms like, yep. <laughs> Tapping her foot. <laughs> so dramatic. Draw up unique concepts. Your sim apologizes to Summer. They immediately realize that nothing original comes from copying. What they need to do is externalize the internal. <laughs> Jeez. At an available dining table and dining chair, have your sim draw up some unique concepts. Alrighty, so we can tap on this dining table and draw concepts for one hour and 16 minutes. Cute. Looks more like doodling, but okay. Discuss feature room designs. Your sim's brainstorming has generated a huge number of unique designs, but which one to use? Time to review your designs with some sims. Having more opinions on the designs will surely help. 
have four conversations between two sims to discuss the design. So we need four pairs of sims. Yes, to do it all in parallel. So we'll start the first one here, discuss designs for two hours and 15 minutes. So just make sure you have four pairs of sims doing this task at the same time and you can get them all done in two hours and 15 minutes. Otherwise, you'd have to do multiple two hours and 15 minute sessions and that's just a time waste. Research designs. Your sims review and discuss the designs at length. Inverted balconies, reverse mezzanines, vertical pools, all <laughs> original and impractical. Your sim doesn't recall seeing anything like this on the internet. Do they have a winner? Better be safe and double check. At a computer, have your sim research designs. Research designs for 2 hours and 20 minutes. Have a tantrum. What? All the ideas already exist on the internet. All of them. What hope does your sim have now? They are furious. Perhaps venting their anger outside will help. Have your sim have a tantrum outside and kick over the bin. I yeah, mean, you go. Do you think that... Oh, have a tantrum for 45 minutes. Do you think that these sims, maybe because they're just so small, they just can't contain all their little emotions? <laughs> There's a lot of feels for somebody who's <laughs> only so many pixels high. Okay, let's, yeah, let's have them both having a tantrum. That's really interesting that the pregnant sim can do this, because I kind of thought that pregnant sims were not able to work on quests and things like that. But I guess, well, he got to it first. Yeah. <laughs> Clean up rubbish. Your sim kicks over the rubbish bin, leaving rubbish everywhere. While the venting felt great, the smell and cleanup certainly doesn't look good. Your sim left such a mess on the lawn, and now they're going to have to clean it up. Have your sim clean the rubbish from the lawn. And here it is, clean the rubbish for two hours and 35 minutes. You see, you see what you did there? This is actually like- High quite, class trash. Yeah, right? Like I don't think that we've seen the trash look so artistic. <laughs> I'm gonna kick over more of the trash cans in town. <laughs> Phone Bree. As your sim cleans up the rubbish from the kicked over bin, they discover the contact details for the fabled DIY Homes Bree. Perhaps getting in touch with her will help your sim with some ideas. That's a great idea. Agreed. Brie rocks. All right, so we've got our phone and we call Brie for two hours and 40 minutes. Wait until Brie is available. Your sim tries to ring Brie, but all they get is hold music. She must be busy at the moment. Have your sim call Brie back in one day and 23 hours. And as we explained before, this is counting from the day that you actually started the quest. So the Quest is basically designed to have each new day start at 24 hours. So because we've been skipping through, we have built up one day in 23 hours. But even though it's now one day in 23 hours, it's still 10 LPs to skip, so the LPs don't increase. Yes, yeah, the same for every day of the quest. Watch DIY Homes. Your sim tries calling Brie when Sue Portive, her boss, answers. She says Brie is busy and hangs up. Rude. Maybe watching some DIY Homes episodes will help. Have your sim watch six episodes of DIY Homes on TV. Now, this is something you can also do in parallel. So we have watched DIY Homes for two hours and 40 minutes. So we can have five other sims with our pregnant lady here all watching the show together to get up to our six. So we'll call over four more sims now to start watching that DIY Homes show. Look for Bree's email. Wow, watching Bree on DIY Homes is really inspiring. If only your sim could find another way to get in touch with her since she is so busy. Perhaps sending Bree an email is a good idea. Now to find her email. Surely it must be somewhere in one of the DIY Homes magazines. Have your sim look for Bree's email in a DIY Homes magazine. So we can just use this pile of magazines we used before. Look for Bree's email, one hour and 15 minutes. Look at this lovely outfit, by the way. This comes from that Chic Boutique live event. Cool Sims about DIY Homes magazine. Aha, found it. Well, part of it. It looks like some coffee was spilt on the last half of Bree's email address. Now what? Surely someone has an undamaged copy of the magazine. Time to phone some Sims up. Have your Sim phone seven friends to see if they have an undamaged copy of the magazine. This again is something you can do with seven Sims at once. And we've got a whole bunch of phones here Call about DIY magazine for two hours and 50 minutes. Look for Bree's email. Your sim asks their friends if they have a copy of DIY Homes magazine. It looks like they've thrown them out, replacing them with maternity magazines. What now? Surely someone popular like Bree would have their email up on Simbook. Let's put that detective hat on. Have your sim use a computer to try and find Bree's email on Simbook. I recommend her Twitter, to be quite honest. 
All right, look for Bree's email for one hour and eight minutes. Take photo of design. Success. Trawling Simbook uncovers Bree's email and links to the DIY Homes website. Your sim has a great idea. Why not email a copy of their plans to Bree herself? Surely she will have some great advice. But first, take a photo of the design. Tap on a selected sim with a plumb bob to photograph the design. So this guy mm -hmm. is the one with the plumb bob. Photograph design, four hours and 55 minutes. Unfortunately, sims don't come in three stars or one star or <laughs> two stars. <laughs> Email Brie the photo. Nice photo. Let's email the design off to Brie to get her opinion. Have your sim use the computer to email Brie the future room design. Email photo, 5 hours, 30 minutes. Your sim will have to wait for Brie's reply. Have your sim come back and check in 2 days and 23 hours, Brie said. This is just the start of day 3 of the quest. We're going to use 10 LPs to skip forward. Check mail for Bree's letter. Your sim finally receives an email reply. Bree says she knows a genius interior designer who could help make their design a reality. Cool tones. He became a recluse after a tragic interior design mishap. Bree will send your sim a cryptic letter with Cool's whereabouts. Have your sim check the letterbox for Bree's letter. Check for Bree's letter for one hour and 35 minutes. I think maybe you should check the other side <laughs> of the mailbox. She'll get there eventually. <laughs> Go to the park. Your sim reads Bree's letter. The park is where all the answers are. Cryptic indeed. Let's head over to the park to begin the investigation. Send your sim to the park and we're just going to join our sim who we left there right at the start of the quest. Inspect a thoughtful man. Your sim arrives to the park with Bree's letter in hand. Her letter contains the code word to contact Cool. K-E-1. Your sim feels like they are in one of those scenario improbable movies. Ha! Bree's letter continues, the first clue can be found with a thoughtful man. Have your sim locate a thoughtful man in the park. Where's that statue? Yeah, there you go. Thoughtful man. Thinking man statue. Inspect for two hours and 25 minutes. This statue gets a lot of play, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, well, you know, he's a important fixture in town, so I'm glad that he's given his due. Now, for those of you who have particular hobbies, you will may know what KE1 stands for. I don't. Well, what? You'll, you'll find out. Inspect a cartographer's conundrum. Your sim inspects the thinking man's statue and finds the letters CH inscribed on it. This must be the first part of the code word. The next clue in the letter says a cartographer's conundrum. Have your sim inspect a cartographer's conundrum for the next clue. Okay. Oh, yes, I see. There's a map over here. Oh, right. <laughs> I thought it was like, why is it tapping? Why have we got to tap on the toilets? <laughs> Inspect the map or the toilet for two hours and 15 minutes. I mean, I guess it is a conundrum if you're into cartography, why there is a map on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Inspect something fishy. Your sim looks closely at the map in the park and finds the letters ES inscribed on it. This is getting exciting. The next clue in the letter is something fishy. Alrighty, have your sim inspect something fishy, which means the big fish over here maybe. Inspect two hours and five minutes. Although he's not actually fishing for the fish, so I don't know if the fish will make an appearance. There's only one way to find out. I mean, that fish is a menace. I don't know if you guys have seen Dark Crazy 75's Machinima for Sims Freeplay, but uh, she has the fish playing an interesting role in that. Okay. It's a pretty good Machinima. It's hilarious. Find and inspect a gorilla in the mist. Oh my god. <laughs> They're really going to town with these puns. <laughs> Your sim investigates the fishing rod and basket and finds the letters SB on the bucket. Bree's next clue, Gorilla in the Mist. I think it even works better because of your accent. Oh, you say it. Griller in the Mist. And now say it the other way. Gorilla in the Mist, oh. yeah. Inspect for two hours and 15 minutes. I bet like 90% of the people watching this video are like, what are you guys talking about? Just whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's a movie. With Sigourney Weaver and a gorilla. Inspect a box of soap. Your sim inspects the barbecue and finds the letters OA inscribed on it. There's just one clue left. The letter states a box of soap. Alright, so the box. soap box. Mm -hmm. I've already kind of forgotten all the letters, but 
inspect for two hours and 35 minutes, I assume that the sim and the quest will solve this without much guidance from us. Mark letter K on chessboard. Your sim inspects the soap box and finds the letters RD inscribed on it. That's it! The code word is chessboard! So KE1 must be a code to place the letter K at E1 on the chessboard. Oh! Cool! Uh, see, I thought K would be like a knight on the chessboard. Hmm. Mark with letter K, 4 hours and 55 minutes. Wait for cool to arrive. Apart from a mangy pigeon and a chess-minded squirrel, there is very little interest in the chessboard. Wait and check back in a while, and for us that's going to be close to four days, so we're going to skip ahead to the start of the next day with 10 LPs. Talk to cool tones. It seems like an age, but finally cool appears, somehow sensing the letter K being inscribed. He must be talented. Now that he is here, it is time for your sim to explain to Cool their interior design dilemma. Will he help your sim? Have your sim talk to Cool Tones. Here we go. Talk for 2 hours and 45 minutes. This guy is looking good as well. I like that hair. And that, well, jewel tone of a shirt. <laughs> Ponder about cool tones. Yulsim explains their interior design dilemma to cool tones. Cool says interior design destroyed his life and he is unsure whether he can return. What could Yulsim do to convince cool? Have Yulsim sit on a park bench and give it a ponder. Ponder about cool for four hours. Offer Cool Tones redemption! Your sim ponders what they could possibly offer Cool. He is a fabled designer, what could he possibly want? Cool just said he had a design disaster, and your sim remembers what Bree said about him being a recluse afterwards. Perhaps offering Cool a chance of redemption will win him over. Have your sim speak to Cool and make their offer. Offer redemption for 5 hours and 45 minutes. I mean, we're getting deep. Deep. Send Sim home. Your Sim speaks to Cool, offering a path to redemption. Cool suggests that through your Sim, he could ease back into interior design. He accepts your Sim's offer. Now's his chance. A million ideas come flooding out. Cool hands your Sim a list of interior design ideas. Wow, impressive. Your Sim better get to work. Send them home. Okay, we're back in our little Sim house here. Place a beach coffee table. Your Sim arrives home with Cool's instructions in hand. Cool wants a coffee table as they tend to bring a lot of character to a room. From the home store, have your sim buy and place a beach coffee table in a house. So this is from the living room store and it'll actually be the very first item oh, that that's we helpful. see. Yeah, yeah so you don't have really to good. scroll through so much. Place an elegant dining table. Your sim places the beach coffee table next an elegant dining table. Have your sim place one from the home screen. So this is in the dining section, and again, it's the very first item in the list. Very helpful. Place a sleep around the clock bed. Your sim places an elegant dining table in their house. Stylish. Cool's next idea. Bedrooms are one of the most attractive parts of a house. A good bed should be the way to go. Have your sim buy and place a sleep around the clock bed in their house from the home store. Am I gonna run out of room? Yeah, I think you maybe have to get rid of that bed first. Yeah. Yep. And again, it's right there at the start on the far left of our home store. Go to the park. Your sim places the sleep around the clock bed in their house. Your sim is worried that Cool's ideas equate to placing a mishmash of random furniture, and they're not convinced that this will win any sort of challenge. Perhaps it's time to check in with Cool to discuss the ideas. Try to wake Cool Tones. Your sim arrives to the park and finds Cool. However, he is napping on a park bench. There isn't any time to lose. Your sim needs to wake Cool up and discuss the design. Try to wake for 7 hours and 15 minutes. Oh goodness. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be doing much. No, if it takes 7 hours, I don't think it makes any difference at all. Wait for Cool Tones to wake up. Cool Tones is out like a light. Nothing is going to wake him up from his design slumber. Check back in on the next day, which for us is a bunch of time. So we're going to skip ahead with 10 LPs. Talk to Cool Tones. Finally, Cool Tones has woken from his slumber. Your sim should strike while the iron is hot and get insight into Cool's design. Have your sim talk to Cool about his design plans. Talk for 5 hours and 35 minutes. 
have two sims decipher the list. Your sim talks to Cool, who listens to their concerns and says that he has a whole new concept. Cool Shui. That may be the answer. <laughs> He has your sim a new list of instructions. Unfortunately, the list was written in a hurry and the simlish is almost illegible. Your sim will need another set of eyes to help decipher it. Have two sims try to decipher the list. Decipher list for seven hours and 15 minutes. So they'll just be working together on that. Place beige carpet in a room. Your sim has worked together and managed to finally decipher Cool's terrible simlish. It looks like his first instruction on the list is to put down some new beige carpet, which you can do in any room. And I guess if you just go into the floor section, hopefully it'll be the first one. Yep, there we go. Place some new wallpaper. Your sim places down the new carpet. It's a good start. Next on Cool's list is changing some wallpaper. Your sim thinks that this holistic treatment might actually work. So then we go into the walls and I don't know, I guess we can put that there. Looks good. Place some more wallpaper. Your sim puts some new wallpaper up in their house. They look at the next item on the list. Wallpaper again? That is odd. Okay. If that's what Cool wants, have your sim place a different type of wallpaper in the room. Okay. Discuss multiple wallpapers. Your sim puts the wallpaper up. Why list wallpaper twice when you can only put one type up at a time? Two wallpapers in one room? Your sim has a genius idea. What if both wallpapers could be put up? Would that be popular? Yes. Your sim needs a second opinion. Have two sims discuss the idea of having multiple wallpapers in a single room. There is nothing to discuss, just do it! Okay, <laughs> four hours and 55 minutes first. Ask Cool about multiple wallpapers. Your sims discuss the idea of having different wallpapers up in the same room. It sounds amazing, but is it possible? Surely Cool Tones can tell your sim whether this can be done. Have your sim go to the park and talk to Cool. Discuss wallpapers for six hours and eight minutes. Create a feature wall. Your sim asks Cool if there is a way rooms can have multiple wallpapers. He pauses, leans forward and whispers in your sim's ear. You can put different wallpaper on each wall. Success! Now they know how to do it. Your sim must go home to try it for themselves. All right, so we're back at a house and in order to get this going, we just need to select a wallpaper, tap inside a room and look. A whole new UI thingy. We've got these four rhombuses, trapeziums, <laughs> shapes. <laughs> shapes, one for each wall. And as you can see, these four are all shaded green, which means they're all going to get the new wallpaper. That's the default as it was in the past. That's what's going to happen now. But if you tap on any of those green bits, they turn white. And that means that wall won't get that wallpaper. And you can see the cost is going down of the wallpaper for every trapezium shape we turn white. So the only walls that will be changed are the ones in green. The ones that won't be changed are the ones in white. Mm -hmm. Wait until walls are dry. While the walls look great, they will look even better when the wallpaper has finished drying. Your sim should come back in an amount of time, but let's first check out how it looks. Looking good. Look, in the same room, we have two walls that are wood and two walls that are stone. I love it. And of course, we have the interior window as well. Now, the interior design from Cool Tones was to have only two wallpapers in a room, but you can have four wallpapers in a room. Each wall can be a different wallpaper. Nice. Photograph the house. Your sim waits patiently for the new feature wall to dry, and it simply looks amazing. Your sim and Cool could have a winner here. A photograph of the house is needed for the submission to Plush Living. Starting from the X outside, have your sim photograph the house. Photograph the house for 30 minutes. Submit design to Summer. Your sim photographs their house. They have to submit the interior design to Summer. The fastest way is to email the photos directly. Have your sim use a computer to email the photos and submit their design to Summer. So at the computer, submit design for 14 minutes. Thank Bree. Your sim emails the photos to Summer completing their submission. Is it innovative enough? The nerves are kicking in now. While your sim waits, rem they remember that they must thank Bree. Without her help, your sim would have been lost. Have your sim use a phone to call Bree. So thank Bree for 36 minutes. 
go to the park. Your sim calls Bree and thanks her for her help. Recommending cool tones was inspiring to say the least. Time to let cool know about how amazing everything looks together. And we just go back to the park. Debrief cool about interior design. Your sim arrives at the park. They can't wait to debrief cool on their experience in creating an amazing interior design. Debrief for one hour and 45 minutes. Take selfie with Cool. Your sim debriefs Cool on their interior design experience. Cool is ecstatic that your sim managed to pull it off. Best of all, Cool's back, baby. Surely this will be a winner for their design competition, and what better way to celebrate than with a selfie? Have your sim get a selfie with Cool. Take selfie for one hour and 15 minutes. Speak to Summer Fields. Your sim takes a photo with cool tones. If your sim wins the competition, this photo will help restore cool's reputation. As your sim snaps their last photo, Summer sends a text message asking to meet with your sim. Have your sim speak to Summer. All right, and Summer is in the park and speak to her for two hours and 55 minutes. Have interview with Summer. Your sim nervously speaks to Summer. She greets your sim with a smile and says, Congratulations! Your sim is the winner of Plush Living's interior design competition. Those feature walls are revolutionary and will take the design world by storm. Summer wants to interview your sim. Have your sim start an interview with Summer. Interview for 3 hours and 10 minutes. Oh cute! She has got a microphone and everything. I hope it's recording to something. <laughs> yeah. Thank Cool Tones. Your sim's interview with Summer goes well. Your sim declares that they could not have done this without the inspirational help of the legendary Cool Tones and Brie. Has Cool regained the confidence to return to the brutal world of interior design? Have your sim thank Cool Tones. Thank for 4 hours and 55 minutes. Say goodbye to Cool Tones. Your sim thanks Cool Tones profusely. He says that working with your sim has inspired him to return to interior design with his own magazine, Tone Deaf. After much indecisiveness, your sim and Cool work together to create a revolutionary new way to decorate homes. It's time to part ways with Cool and go home. Have your sim say goodbye. Oh, Say goodbye for 8 hours and 16 minutes. <laughs> Congratulations! Your sim has worked tirelessly with an indecisive yet genius interior designer and has discovered how to create feature walls. Now you can create a feature wall in any sim house. Congratulations! You have earned a pack of new wallpapers and carpets from doing this task within the time limit. You can find these in the home store in the walls and floors tabs. So we're just going to show the walls and floors in a little house that we've prepared. Ooh, look at all the walls! Yeah, some lovely colors. And yep, we have unlocked this ability. So everything but that one, I guess. And then this one, if you put that, everything. But it's hard to remember like which walls you. Yeah, go around clockwise, for, maybe. Classy. Nice. Mm -hmm. Really like these. Agreed. These are really good colors. Okay, so let's try the floors. Okay, so here are the carpets in action. We've got zigzag texture here in different colors. It's got a bit of that corduroy linear feel to it. Mm -hmm. I really, really like this carpet. I think then that's still the same. Yeah, just the dark color. You get like neutral tones and then a dark one. Mm -hmm. And then we have loop texture. Oh, this looks pretty good, a bit more mottled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I still think I prefer the the first one. Just because you the like zigzag. the texture. Yeah, the, just for the texture. The colors are the same. I just prefer the texture. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we have five more upstairs, and this is long pile, so this is more plush looking. Yeah, it definitely does look plush. 
I'm just gonna stick zigzag my favorite. Yeah, I like a zigzag as well. I'm not sure I would want zigzag in real life. I'd probably want plush in real life. Mm -hmm. But still, it's nice to see in Sims. And I do actually really like that there is now a pretty deep black. Yes, yes. I don't know why there are so many times you want to do black floors, but sometimes you do when you're building. Well, because it makes the furniture stand out more, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Okay, guys, that was our walkthrough of the feature walls discovery quest and the prizes. Please let us know in the comments what you think. And if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims free play on the way. Thanks for watching.